Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to go over on how to use the digital menu in Modisoft. Now, whether you are a convenience store, restaurant, or any kind of business that uses televisions to advertise any product, Modisoft gives you the capability to do that in the software. The only thing that you are required to have is of course a television with hdmi outputs and you do need to have the amazon fire stick as well that you can connect to an hdmi output and then you would download the modisoft digital menu application from the amazon play store once you download that app it's going to give you a pair code that you will need to enter in the back office so that you are able to download and put all of your menus onto that television. So I'm going to show you real quick on how that is done in Modisoft. First thing you are going to want to do is go to your menu, go to the digital menu tab here, and then it will open up all the templates that are available to you. So in the first tab, you'll see my templates. These are just templates that either you have created. So most likely when you first set this page up, this will be a completely blank page because you have not set up any menus yet. But once you start setting up menus and saving them, then you will see them actually populate here on your dashboard. Now, if you want to use any of our templates, to create a menu yourself, you can actually click on the next tab over, and then you can either do a blank template where you'll customize it yourself, or you can use any of the templates that we have here for menu creation, or even templates that we have here for promotion creation. So once you have chosen a template, so for example, if you wanted to choose this template here, you can click on the template, click on customize, and then you will be able to customize your menu the way that you want to based off of this template that we have created. So on this demo, I'm not gonna go into full detail on how to actually use the digital menu. I will just give you a brief rundown of how to you know save your template and add it to a playlist so that you can pair it to your television so just be on the lookout because i will be adding a more in-depth video in the future if you are interested on how to create menus yourself but for today we're just going to do a simple instructional video So in this example here, let's say that you have updated your menu and it looks just like this, then you will save your menu. And even if you want to apply it to a group, which we haven't created yet, but you do have the ability to create menu groups. So if you want to put a group for like breakfast menus, lunch menus, promotional menus, you have the ability to create the groups here under the manage Groups section so you can just add a group so if you want like i said create a breakfast group a lunch group and then a promo group you have the ability to create those and then whenever you're creating your menus you can assign it to that group so that you have a better way of finding all of your templates. One good thing as well that Modisoft offers to all its customers that want to use this feature is if you do not have the knowledge to be able to create the menus yourself, Modisoft does offer you the ability to speak to a expert in the digital menu area and then they will be able to create a menu for you. All you need to do is provide them with any images, the pricing and then our team will be able to create that menu and then get it approved by you before it goes live so whenever we are creating the menus the great thing about our software is that modisoft has the capability to customize the menu the way you want it and as well 
they have the ability to use the price book pricing to your advantage. So the great thing about that is that whenever you give us the menu to create, we will link all the prices that are in that menu to your price book. So whenever your prices change and you send it to the POS, not only is it going to change at the POS, it is also going to change on your television. So no longer will you have to get a new menu that you have to put on a USB flash drive. And if the prices change, then your developer or your stylist has to give you a new image with the new price update. So all you have to do is just send the prices to the POS and it's going to update it on your register, which is going to save you a lot of time. So once your template has been created either by yourself or by our team, you have the ability to create your playlists and you also have the ability to create any slideshows. So if you want to show multiple promotional videos back to back, like every 10 seconds, you have that capability in the software. For creating a playlist, you would just click on the add new list button here create the list name and then add a description of it and hit save and close so that'll add it here and then all you have to do is click on the plus sign here to add content to this list once you do that, then you can actually go and add the menu that you want to show on this list. So the great thing about this is that you have the ability to add breakfast and lunch menus. So if you have a specific menu that only plays during breakfast, you're able to set the time for breakfast. And then if you have another menu that you created for lunch, that you want to play after the breakfast is over, then you can set that time here. So I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. So let's say you were creating menu one as your breakfast menu. And it's gonna, you'll put your start and end date, put whatever days that it's gonna display. And let's say your breakfast starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 10 a.m. So you're able to create that here, hit save and close. And now you'll see that you know, this is going to be your breakfast. It starts from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. So you'll be able to save that. And then you can go back into the test list here and add another menu. So if you want this, let's say this is going to be your lunch menu. Same thing, put the days that it's going to be displayed. And let's say lunch, since breakfast ends at 10, so that means lunch is going to go from 10 a.m. And let's say it goes until 8 p.m. for your lunch menu. Then you can hit save and close. And then you'll see now that the items in this specific playlist, you have your breakfast menu, which is going to play from 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. And then your lunch menu is going to play from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then you hit save and close. So once you've created that, playlist now you can add that to your television once you have paired it so before i show you that i'm also going to show you how to create a slideshow in case you want to show promotions back to back so in the slideshow section you have the ability to create a slideshow here And then you can set the slideshow interval here. So how many images are, or how many seconds is it going to show until the next template shows? So let's say you want to have every 10 seconds a new promotion shows. Then you click on here. A start and end time. So let's just say, you know, from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. is whenever this is going to show. And then you're able to select one at a time or if you hold down the shift key you can select multiple at the same time so if these are all your promotions you can click these promotions click the arrow to move them over and that will add all these and basically what will happen is when you pair this slideshow to the television these menus these templates are going to show every 10 seconds so you're able to get that promotion showing so once you have got everything here, just hit save and close, and now you've created your slideshow.
So after you've created your slideshow, now you need to pair the television with that code you got when you downloaded the app. So on the screen here, I am going to show you an image here of what it would look like. Once you first download the app, you're going to get the pair code, which you see here on your screen now, that you entered. And then once you enter it here, which you see I've already done so, then you are able to assign a playlist to it or a slideshow. So once you do that, it's going to open up all the playlists and all the slideshows that you have created. On this television, you can only have one playlist showing at a time. You are only able to use either one test, I mean, one playlist, or if you want to have a slideshow as well, you can do that for this television. Some locations you see they might have multiple monitors. You could have one television that's going to be for your playlist, one television that's going to be for your promos. So if this television you're going to have for your playlist, then you'll check mark what it's going to be added and just hit save and close. And then once you save and close that playlist, then your television is going to sync. And then you will be able to see the menu like you see here on the screen right now. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your ModiSoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your ModiSoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.